We are in Microsoft Excel 2019, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and click and uh, create a new chart, a new basic chart for us. So as you see at the top, we see all these different columns. And then we see on the sides, we see all these different rows. So we're going to make these rows and columns work for us to create a really cool chart. And then we're going to paste it into Microsoft PowerPoint, if you have it, at the end and show you how you can still edit it, even though it's no longer in Excel. So let's go to where it says A1. And let's put in a year, 2018, 2019 for year two, and 2020 for year three. Now let's go ahead and put in our sales. Let's say uh, 2018 was a terrible year for us. It was $100. 2019 was a little bit better. And 2020, we'll say, was even better. So we got $10,000 for the uh, third year. However, it doesn't show dollars, so let's go ahead and fix that. We'll click on the top of the column where it says B, and we'll go ahead and choose the dollar sign right here. And now we've turned those into dollars. If you want, you can take a look and see all the different options that you can turn that into. Dates, currency, numbers, fractions, etc. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to create a chart out of this so it makes sense to people looking at it without having to read a lot of the details because sometimes uh, we see a lot of data in these things and it's much easier to see in a chart type of format. So I've left-clicked and held down the mouse and selected all six of our cells. Each one of these is called a cell. So let's do that again. Left click, drag it across, let go. And now we're going to go to the insert tab and we're going to choose a chart type. Now we have a lot of different types of charts here. If you hit the down, down arrow, you can see there's different types of charts. And if you see one you like, you can go ahead and choose it. But I like this new feature here. It says recommended charts. So we click on recommended charts. And what we do is we see real-time information of what we just typed in in a chart format in different types of formats. So we look at the first one, recommended charts. We can see the three dots. We see our dollar amounts, and we see our years. Let's go ahead and click the uh, other type of chart here that we see called a clustered column. And I kind of like that one better. That one seems to make a lot more sense to me, although there are some others here as well. If we go to all charts, we can see not just the recommended ones, but every single type of chart. And once again, we're seeing real data in there from what we just typed. And if you mouse over, you can see that it gets very large. So you can you know, get a, a good idea what it's going to look like when you do that. All right, so what seems to make sense to me is to go ahead and stay with this clustered column. It's easy to look at, easy to determine what it is. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now let's say, hey, you know what, that's not very big. Let's make it bigger. So you can go to the corners, left click and drag until it gets to be the size you want. Now let's say, hey, I moved it up too high. Uh oh, well, let's move it on down by again, left clicking at the top and until you see this little cross here and then you can move all of that down. All right, and we don't have to just choose the right corner. We can choose the, the bottom right corner as well or the left, it doesn't really matter. We can also make it skinny, we can make it uh, fat, or however we want to make it look. So let's leave it just like that. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on the chart filters. Let's click on that. And here we can add or change what it is that's showing up here. So we can say, hey, we, don't, we want to highlight 2020, but we want to fuzz out some of these other years. Or we could take out one altogether. So if we go over to names, we can go in and give various different names to the columns as well. Let's go ahead and click on the next button up. And that's showing style and color. And once again, we can change our various different, uh, to various different types of charts simply by mousing over. You can see what it looks like. And when you see one you like, you can just go ahead and click on it. All right, I like that. It's easy to see. Let's say, ah, oh, but you know what, we want to change the color. So let's go ahead and change the color. You've got the background, or you've got the color of the, uh, there we go. Well, let's just go ahead and stay with what we've got here. It looks pretty easy to see. So we've got style, and you've got color right there. Now let's click on the plus at the top, and we see chart elements. This is really cool. This allows us to add things like, take a look on the left-hand side and the bottom. We see we just added access titles. So if I move away, you see they disappear. So we like those titles. They're, they're very helpful for people looking at the chart. So we'll click on that. We also have the option for data labels. And we can just you know go down here. Oh, this is good. Data table. Uh, we can see error bars. Those aren't very useful in this case. 
Uh, you've got a legend. Legends are really helpful if you uh, decide you want to add in what that information says. And you can also make the legend show up in various different places, right, top, left, etc. You can also add a trend line as well. You can say, hey, look at that. We're really growing, aren't we? So we'll go ahead and add the trend line. That's really neat. So now we've got a much snazzier looking uh, chart than we did before. So let's go ahead and, and double click inside one of these axis titles. And we'll call this one years and then we'll go over to where it says access title on the left hand side again double click hit the backspace key and we'll call this dollars now we'll go to the chart title and we'll call this one sales and we'll click away all right so now we have a very cool looking chart but it's really tough to display this let's say we have a meeting where we want to display this chart well, it's a little bit tough uh, opening up Excel and trying to explain this. So let's go ahead and put this all into PowerPoint. So I've already got PowerPoint open. Let's go ahead and click away, then click back inside again, right click and choose copy. Now we're going to go to PowerPoint and we'll choose to create a new PowerPoint presentation. Let's just create a blank one and let's go ahead and paste. So you can right click and choose paste or do control V. And again, I'm going to resize this thing by using my left mouse click and dragging it. Now, in previous versions, you would say, OK, you know, I've got this thing, but I may want to make some changes. Uh oh, I got to go back to Excel to make changes. But in 2019, what's really cool is you can go ahead and highlight the chart and you see this new design and format chart tools come up. Let's go ahead and click on design and look at this. I can go and I can make changes to my chart. And I accidentally left the title in the background, but that's OK. We'll leave it dark. I can also go to Format, and I can change the Shape Fill if I want. I can change the Shape Outline, Shape Effects. So some things are going to do more than others. And I can make a lot of other types of changes, as you see all along this format bar. I can even go down here and change the theme if I want. Oh, that's very striking. We'll go ahead and leave that. Now, when it's time to show our slideshow, we can just go slideshow and we'll say from the beginning. And there is our chart. Let's say you don't have PowerPoint. What do you do then? Well, what you can do is we can go back to Excel and we can once again choose copy or we can choose file save as either way we can go and save this as a picture if we want so we'll say uh, save it to the desktop and everybody can open a, a picture and we can go ahead and save it as a pdf that's one way we can save it and have it look like a picture as long as you have a pdf viewer We could also save it as a web page, which is really handy. You can open it using a web browser. So lots of different ways we can do that. Uh, or we could just go and open up Paint and paste it in there and choose File Save As. We can say a PNG picture if we want and save it to the desktop. So that's another way we can do it too. And then it'll open up as a picture. Of course, I didn't format it properly, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and click Open. And there it is as a picture. Uh, of course, we get rid of all this white space in the final one. So lots of different ways we can save this uh, chart after we create it in Excel. Uh, but it's nice that if we are able to paste that into any other program, that we can still make changes to it without having to go back to Excel to copy and paste it back in. So that is how we make a chart, a basic chart, and along with some fancier options in the new Microsoft Excel 2019.